Good evening. Goedenavond. For our Dutch uh, guest. And um, no, I'm really thrilled. Um, tonight we have two uh, excellent uh, speakers. Um, they will uh, talk about their own experiences of what happens if you have a fabric of a city and you have a larger network, be it a metro or a bus rapid transit, that is imposed on that existing fabric. Uh, and obviously, if you have these two systems that have activities of their own, how do you connect these two systems? This is not something new. This has been a challenge uh, for uh, uh, many cities in uh, different places in the world. Um, but Ahmedabad is on the verge of starting their metro system. So we thought specifically uh, for this evening, it would be good to have somebody who has extensive knowledge of working with the metro system, in this case in, uh, in Amsterdam. His name is uh, Gert-Jan Scholte. Uh, he's also known, yeah, it's a difficult name to pronounce, I, I agree. Gert-Jan Scholte. There's a few more countries who do the G. The, uh, the Portuguese are pretty good with the G and uh, the Pashtuns in South Afghanistan are also good with the G. Yeah. So uh, Gert-Jan Scholte will uh, talk about uh, how, do you, how do you incorporate a fairly uh, technocratical infrastructural system, collaborate with an architect from Britain called Nicholas Crimshaw, uh, and make that actually work, um, or not. That is up to Gert-Jan. Um, the second speaker of this evening is uh, our own uh, faculty of architecture uh, rock star, Megal Arya. Um, she's very modest, and um, she's a little bit shy, but she is uh, fantastic in her work with her husband, uh, Vijay. They have a practice called uh, Arya, uh, Architects. Um, they don't only do these fairly complicated infrastructural systems. Uh, they have been working, and she will be talking about the bus rapid transit. I would say one of the only systems that really work pretty well in uh, South uh, Asia. Of course, on other continents, we have uh, uh, successful uh, uh, formulas too. In Delhi, we just kind of wrapped it up. We've given up on the bus rapid transit. Uh, so for our Delhi Wallas, uh, I see here four uh, Delhi Wallas uh, sitting there. Uh, it is possible to make BRTs, but it takes a lot of homework and study and uh, kind of rigor. Um, Megal obviously will weave in her uh, story uh, other aspects of the, uh, the profession and ultimately uh, come to the line that many of us at the Faculty of Architecture here believe in, that the center of all these efforts is people. Um, so with this, I will uh, uh, thank Bavin, uh, give him an applause. <laughs> you, you give him an applause and you don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Bavin, he's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> Bavin is not a puppy. He is a mini professor. We call them the academic uh, associates. We have nine of them at the Faculty of Architecture and they're extremely important and they're very well motivated. You saw, I recognize many of your faces uh, earlier, uh, another uh, upcoming uh, rock star is Priyanka Shet, who organized the whole book uh, event with the readings, with the, the, the library books, uh, etc. So um, from the ground up, uh, young people with ambitions in the field of uh, the academics uh, deserve a, a big space on the podium. So that was the first applause, that was for Bavin. And the second one will be for Gert-Jan. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, and uh, let me move on. Thank you for introducing me, and thank you for uh, asking me back, actually. Last time I was 
and we were actually, together with Pala Poy here in the, uh, in the audience, we're presenting uh, our book, Learning from Dali, that we just finished. After finishing also Learning from Mumbai. At that moment, we uh, were telling the audience that we were asking for a grant to do a book actually on this city, on Ahmedabad. And uh, we just received a grant to do that. And actually, this moment, this time, we uh, uh, come to Ahmedabad to start working. And well, that's actually the main reason why we're, why we're here. Uh, I want to, before starting my uh, talk on, on train stations, I want to show you a few, few projects that I've been doing over the last few months uh, before you think I'm only doing uh, train, train uh, metro stations. This is a low-cost housing project in, uh, in Orissa that we've been, uh, been doing. This is the, uh, the other end of the uh, spectrum. That's a very high-end product. Uh, it's, it's 280 meter high uh, uh, hyper building, uh, capital A for Amravati. It's a new landmark for the, for the new city. And this is a pet project I'm doing now in, in Amsterdam. Uh, the waste uh, that you find in the canals of Amsterdam, the plastic and the water plants, we transform that into uh, biocomposite and waste composite products. And you can make anything uh, with it, even these scooters are made of, of uh, waste composite materials and even uh, 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 facades you can make out of it. Uh, but actually the, the theme of tonight is uh, train stations and I uh, uh, started off, or actually it's, it's mentioned as build uh, uh, your own uh, train station, that was a theme or my chosen theme. Uh, here they say uh, build and manage your own station, this is a, a game uh, that actually was, was quite interesting and that kind of reflects what, what I've been doing over the last seven years with one project. Uh, so you've got a train station and you're allowed to add program uh, to that uh, 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 train station and, and make, it, make it flourish. And you can dream anything you can imagine. That's the something out of Rotterdam. You can add any skyscraper or program that you, that you wish. Uh, in my case, there was a train station designed by uh, Nicholas Grimshaw. Or actually, it was more a very elaborate, elaborate roof of uh, 200 meters long. Uh, now, it looks almost that you're on the ground floor level, but it was raised, I will show you later, it was raised uh, 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 10 meters. Uh, when they started this uh, project, uh, the, the, the knowledge or the, 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 uh, the Dutch railways really changed their ideas about train stations. Instead of only train stations, like the kind of Chagigan, we, we always call them Chagigan uh, train stations, only focus upon trains, uh, to move from train station to train station by by train and nothing else. You don't see any, any other transport system within uh, Chagrington. Uh, there, there are no bikes, there are no uh, uh, people that, that, that walk around, there are no cars, no buses. Instead of that, uh, for this train station, they really chose for multimodal uh, uh, transit. So a combination of the metro, of the train, of the bus, and even the, uh, 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 the Dutch railway started uh, to have their own, uh, they're called OV bikes. It's a very cheap uh, rental system of, of, of bikes that are available on the train stations combined with uh, Green Wheels, their own uh, car sharing system. And of course they really focused on uh, the walkability to train stations. So this is when you come down, all very open, 10 meters uh, raised from, uh, from the ground, direct connection to, uh, to the bus, flows of people that was really focused upon. So you, you leave here, you move directly to the bus, or you move to uh, the kind of transit corridor and on the last end, you've got the, uh, the taxis. Uh, so next to the multi-transit, uh, uh, the real focus was to combine 
uh, this extremely, uh, 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 how would you say it? Uh, uh, it was an, an area, kind of no, an, a no-go area at, at, at that moment. It was a very bad area. They tried to co combine that with the, oh, that's the wrong side, with the other side. That was the, the opposite. You would see a train, or uh, uh, it's, 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 it's the Arena Boulevard. You know, I've got the largest soccer stadium over there, a large program with uh, music halls, 6,000 people at one moment that wanted to go to a certain program. So one side was very attractive, the other side was a serious no-go area. Pe people didn't dare to, to walk during the night. And the idea was raise a station, try to connect the two, and that would solve the problem actually uh, for the other side. And actually, to be honest, before uh, 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 they started building the project, I, I, I was kind of wary, wary about the effect. I was, wasn't sure whether it uh, would, would work. And this is Stamina in the Beatles race when you're on the inside. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful square. But still, it's, it's quite, quite a thing to really improve, really rejuvenate the whole area. Uh, just by connecting, connecting it with a better area. But still, when, when, when looking back, it really, really worked out. Which it's a shame I haven't got pictures of the other bit on my, on my laptop. Uh, uh. But the thing that they completely forgot about, and that's what we mainly uh, uh, were asked for, was the, uh, uh, the spaces. It's, it's a 300 uh, meter long train station. So you had some corridors, but there was, was a lot of uh, a kind of wasted space. Thousands and thousands of uh, uh, meters, square meters of wasted space. Uh, and at a certain moment, uh, 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 those wasted spaces became slightly, uh, how would you say it, bad places because there, there, there was nobody looking upon it. There was nobody looking after it. So a lot of uh, 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 dealers would come there. So the, the, the government really, or the, 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 the Amsterdam, uh, 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 the city of Amsterdam, really wanted to change and uh, wanted a very heavy program on the location to attract even more uh, uh, people to the, to the station, of course, uh, and, and to make it in, in, to turn it into kind of stage, but also uh, 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 to get rid uh, of the bad atmosphere. So there were lots and lots of, uh, 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 yes. We, we, we before we thought it, we, we, we didn't know uh, what, what was underground. This is actually a photo when we started digging. Uh, so at a certain moment, we got the, the, the permission to, to do the whole project, to both uh, design it and develop it. And then we found out how complex actually the project was. So uh, 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 the station was at a certain moment almost finished. And there were almost uh, uh, no places where you could put, you, you could put your, your foundation's poles in the ground anymore. And we weren't allowed to touch our roof. Right? The, 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 the roof is actually the, 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 the basis for, 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 uh, to, to carry the trains. But you weren't allowed to, to touch anything. So it had to be a box, very curvy box within a box. And I've been trying to get it as, as transparent as, 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 as possible. And actually, we, we started off, we were also, of course, we were allowed to, um, to do anything, to dream up anything, to dream up also any, any program we would, uh, uh, we would like. Um, but that's actually where the, where the kind of restrictions uh, 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 got in. Uh, so that's, that's also, and the, 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 the kind of renamed it build your own station that gives gives a kind of freedom right? you want to build it's like building your own house you gives a freedom to do almost whatever you uh, feel like and when we started the project actually we thought oh now we, we can do whatever we, we, we dream but then on a, on a train station uh, uh, but actually the restrictions were uh, 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 kind of quite quite severe so pro program wise for example we wanted to open a huge club for thousands and thousands of people underneath the train station. Location was perfect. We had thousands and thousands of square meters. But uh, the Dutch railways, they didn't allow us 
because there was a one rule that they uh, really wanted to keep the transport of uh, inflammable goods uh, going. So because of that, there were only uh, they only allowed a thousand people to die in case of an accident in one instance. So we were only allowed a thousand people in under our train station. So that was only one restriction, but we had a dozen because there were too many stakeholders actually. Uh, and also the different governmental stakeholders were quite were, uh, uh, fighting over the uh, location. When we started laying the uh, 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 <laughs> our floors, we actually f uh, uh, found out all, all of a sudden how large it was, how spacious it was. And you see it's, 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 it's not touching, it's not touching anything. So we had to, in the end also, somebody had to, had to be able to walk underneath, underneath this, <coughs> you know, there will be a, 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 a you, you see here the, the, the start of the, of, the, uh, of the ceiling. There's a curved ceiling underneath, and people are, are, have to be able to crawl underneath that, uh, that ceiling to open up the cables that are here in the, uh, within the system. So nobody ever thought that, uh, uh, that there would be a, a building underneath that structure. So they really, really didn't design with that uh, 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 in mind. So here you see how, how spacious it is, this guy, it's, it's, it's more than 10 meters high. We finally managed, after a lot of struggling, to get also the, the, the really transparent glass facading uh, into the building. So also here the government really, really opposed. So we tried to keep it, keep it as simple as possible. So transparent glass facading, we, we were asked, so this is the energy uh, uh, unit for the, for the whole train station. So that was, that was, that was built and, 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 and detailed already. So we kind of had to work from that. And, and from that we tr tried to make a beam as simple as possible, very uh, 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 simple uh, uh, composite beam. And then from there we could move things, or the, the other slides, probably shows it better. No, no, we'll see that later. But it's slightly, you can move it in to, uh, uh, to add uh, terraces and things on, 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 on the outside. But the idea was to keep it as transparent and, 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 and simple as possible. Uh, but the project was, uh, a, 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 again, it looks very simple, but the process was unbelievably complicated. Uh, so we, we, we were f we've been fighting quite a lot of lawsuits even uh, over, over the project. Uh, so structurally, it's, it was quite complicated, but process-wise, it was extremely complex. You would almost say you would never do it again. You would never, ever. So they're building this now. This is the, the, the area where uh, uh, within a few months, uh, quite a few restaurants will be uh, entering. Uh, there you go. So the main facade and then underneath the bench we sometimes moved in and out. Very, very simple structure. Outside the same. And this is on the side of the bus station where you uh, same, same system actually, and here we, we were able to, uh, to add a very large uh, sport program to the, uh, to the building. And this is the most, because of the location, this is the most uh, visited uh, Fit for Free, that's, that's a huge brand, M most visited uh, Fit for Free in, in, in the Netherlands. Uh, so we've got a lot of 24-hour uh, 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 public uh, you know, running around the system or station and, and that's actually what you, what, what you need, what you need for security also. Because all the other programs of the city uh, and of, of the area that, 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 that uh, leave, leave their place, you know, like, like the, 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 the main cinema or the clubs, uh, that want to go to a, s a, a station that's still up and running. 
No, actually, there's a new slide. So from, from there, I say we'll, we'll, we'll never do it again, but, but, but still, this is Amsterdam North. Same thing. <laughs> they have just, just, just asked us to do a similar thing uh, for, this, uh, for this project. Um, and here I want to want to anti. Uh, the discussion and actually, or actually start the discussion with you after your lecture. <laughs> Give Gert-Jan an applause, please. <laughs>